Well, this is an analysis from the Disrupt CAT1 and CAT2 study, um, comparing patients having eccentric and consentic lesion. And um, we treat these lesions with coronary intravascular lithotripsy. This is the first analysis of uh, any calcium modification technology comparing the effect on intravascular lithotripsy on eccentric versus concentric lesion. There's always a concern among interventionists regarding eccentric lesion because during balloon, balloon dilatation, um, it often happens that we have a um, disruption or dissection of uh, the healthy intima or the fibrous plaques um, rather than a modification of calcified segments within the artery. And uh, if you look at the rotational um, atherectomy or the, or the orbital atherectomy, the most effective techniques prior to the um, intravascular lithotripsy, these are limited due to the guide wires uh, because um, they have, in some cases, a very inhomogeneous ablation, leaving significant unmodified areas uh, in eccentric lesions. Well, this was a patient level data analysis pulled from 180 patients and CAD2 1 and 2 yielded 47 extended lesion and 133 concentric lesions in total. Looking at the results from a safety perspective, there was no perforation at all. We had no closure or slow flow or no reflow events um, in both groups, either in the um, eccentric as well as in the um, concentric group. Um, and there was um, most important no rates of flow limiting dissections. Looking at the final acute gain and percent of residual stenosis, both were similar between the two groups and the final minimum stent diameter was significantly greater in the eccentric versus concentric patients. This is a hypothesis generating study and from this initial analysis, we can see that the intravascular lithotripsy um, holds promise in being both safe and effective with similar outcomes in concentric and eccentric lesions. Um, well, given the uh, angiographic limitations in determining the exact arc of calcium within the lesions, um, we know that we need further insights from the uh, OCT and the IVUS um, just to have more impression what is the effect of intravascular lithotripsy in these concentric versus eccentric lesion. But this will come from the coming up disrupt CAD clinical program trials. Well, OCT allows you to analyze the calcium depth arc and of course the length of a calcific lesion um, much more accurately than by angiography alone. We know from the uh, risk stratifications that if a lesion has more than five millimeter in length calcium and more than 0.5 millimeter in depth and the uh, arc more than 180 degrees. So this is a predictor for um, an under expansion of the stent. So this information comes from the OCT and to have this information, this allows you to develop an intravascular literacy um, strategy if it's needed.